So there's two different forms of ozone that we do at the clinic. One is blood ozone therapy, which is actually IV ozone, and the other one is rectal ozone therapy. And what ozone does is exactly what it sounds like it does. It oxygenates the blood, but it's also a wonderful way to get your immune system um, stimulated and to fight infections off. So whether you have you know, a long-standing infection or chronic fatigue, or you're going on a trip and you don't want to get infections, doing a form of ozone is one of the best ways you can uh, to stimulate your immune system and, and kill off pathogens. We draw the blood out, we inject ozone into your blood, and then it goes back in the system. It's very safe, it's very hygienic. Um, and what the ozone does is it stimulates your cells to produce some things that fight infections. And then of course, the ozone itself has a wonderful ability to sterilize any viral or we'll say pathogenic infections in the bloodstream. And that also gets into the tissues. Ozone therapy in whatever form we deliver it, whether it's for sinus problems or digestive dysbiosis problems or chronic internal uh, microbial infections, particularly virus or spirochetes of Lyme and that type of thing, the long-term effect is it enables the uh, our physiology and the other therapies that we do to be enhanced. You know, if you're sick and you do ozone, um, it's pretty miraculous. You know, if you have an acute infection and you do ozone therapy, you often, you know, you definitely reduce the severity and the duration of that illness that you have. But if you have some kind of chronic infection or you, you have fatigue that's long standing, it usually takes a little bit of time. Much like the other treatments that we have here, the key is, is to get on a regular routine. So normally you'll do it for twice a week for a period of month and then you'll take a little break and you'll do it for another month and what that helps to do is it stimulates the body's antioxidant capacity so that you generate a lot of energy and you keep your um, infection counts nice and low. Obviously people over time in conjunction with our other therapies are going to notice an improvement and if we did an objective marker if we were specifically looking at you know chronic Epstein-Barr or something like that you would see the titers eventually decreasing as we're trying to upregulate our immune system, which is really what this stuff is all about.